hey guys thank you guys so much for tuning into my video this is just Camille and I am back with another video for you guys um, today I really wanted to go over um, self-love how, how I just began to love myself um, and what I faced in terms of diversity this will be a pretty vulnerable story but I think it's something that's very important to share because I know a lot of people have gone through the same or very 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 similar situations as I have I just really wanted to share my story hoping that it would uplift and empower um, all women so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in and let's get straight to it niggas be talking that shit but don't be walking that shit niggas be talking that shit but don't be walking that shit flossing the shit claim that they winning but really okay if you guys like that song then be sure to tune in to my very close friend his name is david um dxcvii is his instagram anyways i want to get straight into the video um, as you guys can tell i'm a very thin dark skinned girl and that is very beautiful and I love myself for it now, but I did not always feel this way about myself. So, um, you know, being dark skin, it's not super popular, even though people claim it is now. It's not and it hasn't been since I was born, but it still affected your girl real, real bad. Um, so this will kind of be my story on that. If I get emotional, I'm sorry. It's just something that it tr genuinely um, happened to me and genuinely was something that I had to overcome and it was, um, very painful for me and i believe um my mother of mostly because that's who i confided in with my information okay so anyways um when i was a little girl um i wasn't very fond of the way that i looked when i would look in the mirror it would kind of make me cringe and cry um i didn't like my skin color i didn't like how skinny i was i didn't like that i didn't look like my mom my mom is a little bit of a lighter complexion i'll post like a picture right here she's a little bit lighter than me i'll post i'll try to find a picture of me and my mom and my sister we're the three girls in my family i um, mean they're both lighter than me so i'm the darkest girl in my family um but i'm the same skin color as my dad and i love my dad's skin color just not on me i didn't love it on me and <clears throat> so when i was a little girl i would just go to my mom and i would say you know hey mom like I don't really like who I am like why did you have to make me <laughs> why did you have to make me like this because I like my personality I just don't like my external body and it was a really really big battle because I was such a sweet little girl but I just hated how I looked like I really hated it you know like I would just sit in the bathroom and look at myself and cry and it was because I seen like beautiful light-skinned women on television and beautiful light-skinned women getting lusted after and my cousin she's a very very um light beautiful beautiful woman and i just i just wanted to be your color i wanted to be your color so that people would see me as beautiful because what i grew up with is that nobody seen me as beautiful you know my family of course they tell me oh you're so pretty da, 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 da. But it was like when i walked out into the world nobody was giving me compliments nobody was telling me you know they're interested in me or anything like that especially getting towards middle school when everybody's having crushes and everybody's getting their first boyfriends and their first kisses i was the oddball out nobody seen me as attractive nobody seen me as somebody who was worthy of talking to and so it really 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 hit me it hit me hard dirt in middle school um because it was like you know like i'm so fun like i'm so cool i'm so happy i'm so positive like, why doesn't anybody want to talk to me and it was all because of how i looked externally or that's what i thought <clears throat> Um, and so, you know, it was just like watching my friends, watching my cousins, watching my the people on TV get chosen and the people who were chosen were the light skinned women, were the beautiful women that it made me, it internalized into my brain that dark skin was ugly and light skin was pretty. And I know that it's internalized into a lot of people's brain that way. And um, it, it was just rough. It was very, very, very rough for me and my mother. Because, um, you know, I was dealing with very, very, very negative thoughts. I was dealing with very, very, very negative images of myself. Um, and so, yeah, I'd walk into the restroom and I'd look at myself and I'd just be like, ugh. And then going into middle school with all the jokes and like, you know, people I'd wear a black jacket or a black shirt and people would be like, oh my God, I can't see you. Where's Camille? And I would just, you know, laugh it off. But it really, 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 really... <laughs> affecting me more than any of those kids would ever know and it's um i can't blame them you're in middle school everybody's childish and immature and um you know i didn't have the knowledge at the time that to stand up for myself and to you know tell them like those jokes aren't funny and what's worse is that i even befriended those people and i i wanted to fit into the crowd so bad that i was like laughing with them laughing at them making the jokes about myself and stuff like that but just because i wanted to fit in so bad because it was like the popular crew that was making the jokes about me um and so i remember one specific instance um, where finally like my eighth grade year finally somebody had came to me and was like oh this guy really likes you and i was like 
whoa, whoa, he likes me, like little old me, like come here. And they're like, yeah, he really likes you. So do you like him back? And I was like, well, yeah, I didn't even know the guy. I didn't know the guy. I haven't talked to the guy. I never had class with the guy. I probably haven't seen the guy. But I was like, yeah, I like him back because if I, if I, if I, I felt like if I had an opportunity with anybody, then I, I'd better take that chance because who else is gonna want me? Which is a very, very ill mentality. Um, long story short, the guy told me, wrote me, and told me that he did not like me and that he wished that people, me included, would stop spreading that rumor that he did like me. And um, so that crushed me even more because it was like why did people tell me that he liked me if he didn't like me now i'm stuck in an awkward situation because i didn't bring about the rumor other people brought about the rumor you know but yeah he was just really um kind of mean about it and it kind of crushed my spirits even more but i think that's what really turned my life around um because of how rude he was i was like you don't even know me you don't even know what you're like missing out on bro like I'm amazing. Like I'm, I'm dope. I'm, I'm happy. I'm fun. I'm cool. I'm smart. I'm. There's so much else other than, to me than my external. You know, there's so much more to me than my physical appearance. There's so much more to me than what I look like. And so you telling me that I'm not worthy of pretty much you. That's how I took it. I took it very deep. He probably just didn't like me. That was a simple. But I took it like you don't think I'm worthy of you. And it was like I'm definitely worthy of you. You know. Um, I'm worthy of anything and I'm worthy of everything. And I was just, um, you know, I was just very, very, very um, extremely broken down about it that it kind of made me the strongest me that I am now. So yeah, I really um, learned to develop a self-love within myself that can't be taken away by anybody. I don't need anybody's validation. I don't need anybody's compliments. I don't need anybody's insults. They don't um, deter me. Well, I do need compliments. I love compliments, but I don't need anybody's insults. Well, they can they can say them. They just won't have a, any personal effect on me because I've already been through the insults. And um, I realize that confidence really, really, really is attractive because the more confident that I am, the more people draw to me. Um, Although I don't want it, I kind of like when people sleep on me because it's like, <laughs> you don't even know what you're missing out on. But no, um, so yeah, I really just established um, my own self-love. I established how amazing I was inside and I grew my inside to where it then became my outside. Like, um, I don't know, like I just love to smile and I love to be happy and I love to just love and when I started to look at myself in the mirror it was like why can I be so positive like towards my other friends like oh no girl you're like when my friends went through issues no baby, baby you're beautiful you are gorgeous you are this you are that but I couldn't do it to myself and so I think one day I really just you know sat in the mirror and told myself like you are beautiful like look at in every and everything that I thought was ugly, I made myself compliment myself on. But yeah, I just kind of really took everything that was negative and I changed how I thought about it in my head. I changed how I looked at things. And it really has gone very, very far with me. I believe that I'm gonna, I'm very, very confident in who I am right now. And it's funny because I know that people are still gonna consider me ugly. I'm sure people, a lot of people think I'm ugly and a lot of people think I'm cute. So it's like, why would I ever go based on how somebody else feels about me? I'm just going to go based on how I feel about myself. And how I feel about myself is that I'm beautiful, I'm bright, I'm smart, I'm intelligent. The last three things were pretty much all the same thing. That's okay. I'm caring, I'm giving, I'm selfless. I'm, I'm so much good energy. I'm so positive. I'm going to make an impact in this world. I'm Kamiya. And my external isn't as important as my internal at all. But um, knowing that I love me as a whole now has really, really just been something. And it's really, really, really made it to where it's been a huge impact in my life. <clears throat> it's really just made me grow as an individual and it's made me um, just happier, happier all in all. And I pray this on everybody. I pray that everybody is able to come to this realization. God has been a huge impact in my life as well. I'm, um, I'm pretty religious. Um, so, I'm pretty sure he's the one who really brought it out in me. And I think it's very important for everybody to learn to love them and accept who you are and accept yourself at your worst and accept yourself at your best and know that um, just don't let anybody else's words truly set in your heart because their words are not who you are. Your words are who you are. You define who you are, not anybody else and not what anybody else thinks and not what the world thinks and not what society tells you, but you. And yes, it's hard, girl, I promise you it's hard. Society tells me a lot of things about myself and if I ever let them truly um, 
if I ever really truly believed in what society did, which I did when I was a little girl, I really truly honestly wouldn't be here to this day. Like I wouldn't be here because I would have did something to myself because I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to handle it. But thank God that I didn't and thank God that I'm here and that I'm here to tell my story and hopefully empower somebody um, and hopefully make a change in somebody's life that you are beautiful. Work on being the best person that you can be and then just loving your external because God made you with no flaws. Just and honestly and truthfully believe that you are made wonderfully and perfectly in his eyes and <clears throat> and wonderfully and perfectly in my eyes. Like I love, I love, 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 love everybody. And so yeah, um, if you guys have any personal stories or any words of encouragement, make sure to leave them down below for people who are scrolling through the comments. If you guys want to share your stories with me, I love, love, love to hear them. Um, if you guys want to get more details on how maybe I overcame my story, what prayers I said, or just anything along those lines, make sure that you DM me um, on one of my social media handles. handles. Um, and yeah, um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this story. I didn't get emotional, so I'm very happy. I tried to keep the emotional part a little bit toned down because I really want it to be a motivational and inspirational for everybody listening. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for allowing me to be vulnerable on my channel and thank you for tuning in. Um, and again, be sure to um, follow DXCVII, AKA David down below um, for his music that is coming out and make sure to subscribe and like everything on my channel. Thank you guys again and I'll see you guys next time.